Come on, game. Go ahead and do what you need to do. Help me out. Of course, the game gives me none. I'm just going to wander around for a minute. Um... Yeah, we don't want to go there yet. Oh, crap. That, uh, black... Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. <laughs> So this is what happens if you're seen. You're force choked by uh, Mordak. Poor Graham. And that's why I saved when I did, because I knew that was going to end up happening. RNG is not working out in my benefit at the moment. Oh, come on. I'll be back in a minute. Graham watches in horrified fascination as the grotesque organ begins to magically play an eerie tune, all by itself. Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. <laughs> Poor Graham. Mordak shows no mercy. There we go! We have been captured by that giant blue thingamabobber. That's exactly what we wanted. Oh, it's about time. So he throws us into uh, this room. And you see a mouse go into that little hole. Graham can see a small, moldy piece of cheese just inside the mouse hole. We're going to want that. So you grab the fishing hook and... There. Got it. The fish hook did the trick in retrieving the piece of cheese from the mouse hole. This is one of those games where there's so much that if you don't do, you're dead. If you didn't talk to, uh, if you didn't pick up the fish hook, you, you know, you can't beat the game. Uh, if you didn't grab the sack of peas, you won't be able to finish the game. If you didn't talk to Kasima and gain her trust a moment ago with the locket, you don't beat the game. And so this is why you've got to do multiple save files, because there are plenty of times where I've made mistakes, and... Like I said... What? Princess Cosima, where did you come from? From the labyrinth. I spend a lot of time down here, you know, with my friends. Friends? Yes, like Jinx and Sam. I don't know if you ever saw Sam or not. Anyway... I found this blue stone once that led here, to this cell. Now come on, you better get out of here. Don't think I've seen Sam, but I did see Dink. And it's good thing we made friends with Dink. Alright, she's going to take us out of here, so we're going to need to follow after her. So, Kasima, you lead the way. You know, tell me where to go, Princess Kasima. So, yeah, that's the thing. As we're walking out of the labyrinth, 
if you if you miss one of those little items that you've got like three seconds to grab before you die i mean that's it game over man you can't finish the game so i mean you, you've got to be really careful when playing a game like this you've got to have multiple save files if you don't you die and that's all there is to it All right, we enter back in. We save the game one more time because of the fact that it's just best to save the game a lot at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and get the sack of peas on the ready. And we're gonna have to wait for RNG again. At this point, Kasima is not coming to save you. That's what should have happened. I don't know if Graham's supposed to say anything now. There's a long waiting period. Okay, so. A large beast lies stunned on the floor. Yeah, he's he, he he's out of the game now. We won't see him again. And again, I'm saving because of the fact that I just no, 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 no. Okay, so now we want to move around until we see another character just kind of wandering around. And this is what we're talking about. And then we take the empty sack. Kind of remind. Bother the cat with that. You. How did you get here? I have journeyed far, over land and sea. Never mind. Your journey is now over. I'm just going to go ahead and reload this. And we'll be back in just a moment. Alright, let's try this again, but let's see if we can go without failing like that. Because that, ladies and gentlemen, as you may remember, was uh, Mananan. Mananan. And, oh, we want, that's right, that's right, we want this. Now, Mananan, you know, the cat is in the bag. He's not out of the bag. He is in the bag. So now the guards of Mordak are stunned. They are out of the picture for right now. So we don't have to worry about the blue guy. We don't have to worry about the cat. We don't have to worry about dying as often as we would have earlier. So... All right, once again, I'm going to be back in just a moment. Okay, we didn't want to head to that room. I think we wanted to head over in this direction. This takes us to where we want to go. Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry.
strange inability to save them from their terrible predicament. Graham will have to go up the stairs to do that. All right, so I got to go upstairs. And I think we're heading to this machine right here. All right, so the way this machine works, I'm going to take... Ah, crud, I made a mistake. All right, be back in a moment. There was something in this room earlier that I needed to get. I had completely forgotten about it. Yay. Uh, the thought of lying on that horrible bed totally revolts Graham. It's supposed to be somewhere I can hide in this room. Grotesque bed occupies one corner of Mordak's bedroom. A large gro a strange statue of a winged woman stands close to Mordak's bed. So sure, thanks to Robin Bradley and the rest of the QA staff. Okay, I did not know about that. Alright, 